Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. As you will have seen from the thumbnail of this video, I have a guest today and I am super excited because I've not been able to do my mum's makeup in a really, really long time. It's been over a year? Over a year. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited for my mum to try some of the things that I've been trying out on my channel that you've wanted her to try as well to see whether it's suitable for an over 65 skin as well as an over 40 skin. So if you are new here, hi, my name is Gemma. I upload two to three videos here on YouTube every single week. I'm also on Instagram if you fancy popping across and checking me out over there as well. And I would really appreciate it if you would come and join the Pampered Wolf Pack by clicking on that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get her in here. Hey boo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've decided we are gonna do a really nice natural brown smoky eye. It's something that you've never really had before, have you? And you're just wanting to try it. Yeah. And really make a lot of focus on the skin. So make it look really glowy and youthful and natural. Mm. Just to lift you a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Your skin is amazing. Oh, thank you. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a palette in the shade Pretty Blushed Beauty just to get that smoky eye look. I'm using the bronzer in the crease and then using the deeper shade, which is shade three, all over the lid. I don't mind about being messy at all. This is a smoky eye and I can always clean up afterwards because I'm doing the eye look first. Okay, so now the top lid is completed. I'm gonna go back and finish off the bottom a little bit later, but we're gonna move on to primer. Now my mum is always concerned about larger pores, so I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional Primer, and we're just going to massage it into the areas that are of concern. So around these cheeks here. They're not as bad as they used to be though, are they? Nowhere near. Mm. Down the nose. Just really massage that in, press it into the skin, in between the brows, and just around the corners of the nose. Finally, right on the tip of the chin. So then I'm gonna go in with the backwards technique. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer first. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade L5. I'm going to use a colour corrector underneath the eyes to disguise my mum's dark circles. This is from NARS and it's the Radiant Creamy Colour Corrector in the shade Light. So once that's in position, I'm going to leave it for a good couple of minutes just so that some of the liquid evaporates from the formula and that means that we're going to get more coverage and then I'll go in and just blend it out with my finger. So I'm just applying some more of the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer in the shade L5 which is the shade that matches my mum's skin tone. I'm getting that in place and then once again I'm going to leave that to thicken for one to two minutes before I blend that out properly. Okay. 
Okay, so I've just set underneath my mum's eyes using a tiny bit of the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection um, Blurring Under Eye Powder. It's absolutely amazing, you need very, very little. So we're gonna go into base now, and the base that my mum has opted to try today, which she's not tried before, is the MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body. This is just epic if you're wanting a slight bit of coverage, if you're wanting medium coverage, because this is totally buildable. So uh, I'm gonna shake this up, and then I'm gonna apply it to the palm of my hand. And the reason that that's really, really important is just like we did with the colour corrector and the concealer, you want some of the liquid to evaporate from the formula. This really thickens the formula, it makes it more blendable. It's like the formula is awakened by the heat of the palm of your hand. So I'm just applying the tiniest amount and uh, I'm just gonna massage that into the back of my hand and then massage it into the areas that we want a little bit of coverage on the face. So the shade that I'm using is C1 and I'm just going to really massage it into the skin. Okay, so I'm just going to fill in my mum's brows now, the skin is done and then we're going to go in and bronze up the skin because the shade of foundation that I've used is my shade, it's my match <laughs> and although we are very close, my mum's slightly more tanned than me so we are going to have to bronze this up. Not doing anything sparkling with the brows, I'm just filling them in slightly. never forgetting to go through with the spoolie. So, so important. Just softens everything off and makes everything look far more natural. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow as the bronzer. Oh, this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. It's very, very natural. This is in the shade light to medium. I use this on my skin and I really, really like it. So even though you're not gonna be able to see it, and I know she's gonna roll her eyes at me, here we go. I am gonna put it around the perimeter of the forehead because that's where the sun would hit. My mum's forehead is so fantastic because she's had a fringe. <laughs> Anti-aging tip, everybody, if you don't want wrinkles on your forehead, have a fringe. Okay, so I've just done the hollows of my mum's cheekbones. If you have really sunken cheekbones or really sunken cheeks, you don't need to do that step. Also, if you have quite hollow temples, that's an area to miss with your bronzer as well because that will make it make your sunken temples look a little deeper. So uh, always best to miss that portion out if you are worried about sunken temples. So I'm going to finish off the eye look using the Charlotte Tilbury palette that we used earlier on. I used the bronzer in the crease and then I went all over the lid with this deeper shade here which is shade 3 and then I put the tiniest amount of shade 2 on the centre of the lid. If you're worried about creasing you can skip this one out but I think my mum still looks absolutely beautiful with a pearlescent shade all over the lid. I have only used the tiniest amount though. So we're going to use the bronzer shade all underneath the lash line and then I'm going to Add a tiny bit just to the outer corners of shade 3. Now you may have noticed that I didn't apply concealer all the way underneath the lash line. The reason I didn't do that is because of the creasing that can sometimes happen when you apply in that very very movable area but also I knew we were going to go in with an eyeshadow so there would be coverage here with the eyeshadow. We didn't need the concealer. So I'm going to use the NARS eyeliner in the shade Mulholland Drive just on the outer edge of that upper lash line. If you ever have any problems keeping your liner in place, if it disappears throughout the day, consider setting it with a powder of the same colour. So I'm just going to go in with the number 3 shade 
and just pop that on top of the liner just to set that in place. So I'm just going to get my mum to tight line her own top waterline using the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize Liner Duo. She's using the black on the top and then she's going to use the champagne colour underneath. The champagne colour really does make a difference, it makes the eyes much wider, much brighter and you seem more awake. Okay, so I'm going to line the lips using the MAC Lip Pencil in Boldly Bare. Then we're going to go in with the NARS Air Matte Liquid Lip in the shade Chaser. And finally we're going to pull everything together using my favourite Givenchy blush. This is the Prism Libra blush in the shade 4 which is Organza CN. Okay, so after I applied the blush, and as you can see, I concentrated on the temples and all the way to the corners of the eye. I've actually gone underneath the eye here as well, just to add a little bit of a lifting effect. My mum decided she wanted to try some gloss. You very rarely wear gloss, do no. you? So we've added a little bit of the Unreal Gloss in the shade Sublime, which really looks pretty mm. on you. Okay, so now we've finished the overall look and you look stunning. Oh, Your thank skin you. looks beautiful. Thank Everybody you. wants to know your thoughts on all of these products right. because on camera they might not look the same as they do in person and they might mm. not be the products that you would like to use on a daily basis. Okay. So let's start off with the Charlotte Tilbury palette that we did the eyes with. Well, I love that. I really love it because it's got everything in it that you might need. I mean, if I was going on holiday, all I'd need is a bit of mascara and I'm done. Uh, and lipstick. I'd need lipstick. And foundation. Actually, probably not. Not if I'm going on holiday. I could probably use that and bronze it up. Yeah. With the bronzer. In a hot country, you don't really want too much, do you? No. Yeah, so, so I love that. Absolutely love it. Okay, what about the NARS under eye colour corrector? Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful, actually. I've never used this one before and you made it look beautiful, so I'd certainly give that one a try. It's really, really creamy and hydrating and mm. moisturising. And a on uh, more mature skin, Ooh. that is key. I mean, you can't have anything that's drying underneath your under mm. eye. It's got a little brush on the end as well, which is unusual. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, let's talk eyeliner. I don't use it very often because I'm not very good at putting it on, but that is absolutely beautiful. And for a smoky eye, a smoky brown eye in particular, it's stunning, isn't it? Really yeah. nice. It really does make mm. a difference. Yeah. Okay, so let's just talk foundation because that is the one thing that we had an issue with today. You may not have noticed on camera, but my mum has a little bit of flaky skin around her chin area and around her nose. And it is so unnoticeable that I also didn't notice it before I started the makeup. So I applied the Professional Primer, which is great for an oilier skin, before I really noticed that my mum had some flaky patches. This was yeah. not the right primer to go for. I should have gone for the Hydrate version of this formula. And because of that, because I use this one, which is more for oily skin, we had a bit of an issue. Mm -hmm. So... Um, if we'd have used the correct primer, I don't think we'd have had an issue, but it did slightly cling to the flakier areas. Mm, yeah. It looks beautiful now though, doesn't it? It does, and I wouldn't be able to tell the difference now, but at first, oh, I think if I was at home, I would have taken it off and started again. But I'm glad that you've said that it's, it's because of the other products, because I'll give it another go now. Um, yeah, it looks nice now, but it was a struggle to get it to look like this, wasn't it? It looks really, really beautiful mm. now. We had to flake off a little bit of the flaky skin, mm. and once we had fresh skin underneath to work with, it went on superbly. It's really mm. crisp. It's really, really glowy and youthful without being too glowy because it yeah. doesn't emphasise any pores. It just looks like skin. Mm. Really like it. I really like it. I do now. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay, let's talk about the blush. Beautiful, beautiful colour. I really like it. I've been trying out some other blushes, but that one, I think... 
I don't think you'd beautiful. have ever gone for this if no. we were in the shop because no. this has some terracottas and browns yeah. in here rather than just pink. So it does have pink in here, but it also has those terracottas, which just adds a little bit of depth. It really is beautiful. Mm. Mm. I it's, wouldn't it's, have put this on you before. It's stunning, actually. Really, really, really like nice. It. And plenty of product as well, isn't there? Oh, you get a lot. Mm. You get a lot. Mm. Okay, let's talk about mascara. Hmm, well, you know me and mascaras. I don't see the point in spending a lot of money on a mascara. And I did struggle to put this particular one on my lower lashes because I put too much on and I got shouted at, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't um, raise my voice. No, but there was a stern look. <laughs> a bit like my look when she was about four. <laughs> that is not true. Oh, it is. <laughs> I recognise that look. I think your lashes look beautiful. They, now. they are, they're lovely. But, you know, it's a very expensive mascara and I'm sure I can find equally good ones at a much more affordable price so probably not that one well said let's talk about the lip combo that you chose mm. the nars what well, which one was it this this, air this yeah the air matte nars i love this color i think it's more of a winter color for me and in the summer i like it just a little bit paler so the combination with the hourglass was well this is it and i really like this one I like the combination of it very much. Do you like much. the way it feels? Yes, I do. I like the NARS Air Mattes because they are matte, but mm. they don't feel like they're matte yeah. on the lip. They actually feel quite hydrating. Mm. It feels like a creamy lipstick mm. on the lip, and I'm not quite sure how they've done that, mm. but they did it really well. Now, you already know that you love the concealer combo because yeah. you have that already at I home. do, yeah. Uh, but you taught me something different about how to put the um, Pat McGrath powder. powder on with a beauty blender because I didn't think to do that. I've always put it on with a, a, a fluffy brush before, so I'll be doing that. Excellent. Mm. Well, overall, I think the look is stunning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to take you out now. Uh, I think it's the other way round. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the other way round. <laughs> So that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed having my mum on again. I've loved it. I've loved taking a little bit more of a back seat today and having my mum on camera instead of me. It's been really, really nice. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and uh, hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.